So here we are with our first episode of making pretty things in pretty places. Turns out it's a little harder to find the right spot to make pretty things because if you're in a pretty place there's lots of distractions like people going by, you gotta get the right surface, nice rock, background, and not too much else. So anyway, we found a rock, we're gonna carve out this little bracelet here and I already did the swivel knife work on it. I'm just gonna go ahead and wet it up with my spray bottle. It's portable and handy. Another element you gotta worry about is wind when you're out in the open. And if you forget your weight in your truck, just find whatever you can find out in pretty places. So we're gonna start with our beveling first. And so I like to use my smallest beveler I can and get all those tight little spots out of the way. Now making pretty things in pretty places, you'll find other challenges like, you know, not completely even surfaces like your carving block at your workshop. But uh, you'll find that with a little bit of ingenuity, you can get it done. There's actually some people going that way a little bit ago, yeah. so could be both directions. All right. Yep. See what I mean about distractions? Use the op beveler in these just tighter corners.
kind of like tooling on a swell cover of a saddle, only worse. Okay, now that we've got our beveling done, you can go ahead and wet it just a little bit more. It's amazing how this wind dries your leather out a lot faster than an air-conditioned shop. A little spritz here. That's how we do it. So, ready for all of our shading. Using it in tighter spots, you can turn it around, use that smaller side if you need to. Come back, use the larger side. Then a lot of times when things are coming out from under something, I'll turn it around, come back the other way. Blend those two lines. There. Put it the way. Coming over there. Flower stem with a large bar grounder, just kind of creating a V shape coming down the middle. Give it a little definition from everything else. We use our number one vertical line thumbprint to shade our. Number two mule's foot. Or bud here. Back with our 
lifter here. Number two, lined vayner. shade our flower here. Smooth one on the outside. Create a little bit of shade in here. Okay. Pick some lines back up. Definitely a lot tougher to keep it really defined when you're carving on a rock. In Moab, Utah. Sometimes you squish some lines that you'd like a little, a little more pop out of. Use our liner right here. Get some definition in our flower. Also use it petals down here. use this uh, mule's foot when I use a liner. just kind of gives it a little cupping effect there. I think we're ready for swivel knife cuts and call it a day. I'm going to go ahead and put a little more water on it. Man, it dries out super fast. Just a little bit, not too much. Do these cuts approximately the same angle as we did our lines. Definitely a lot harder to do your swivel knife cuts when carving on a rock as well. You're not able to turn the leather like you would on a carving block.
Main thing about your swivel knife cuts, most places you just want to mirror everything that's already there. Just give it a little bit of character. First one short, back one a little bit longer, just like our original swivel knife cuts. Remember, we don't have to cut our swivel knife cuts too deep, just enough they'll hold a little bit of antique. A lot of people try to overcut them and then just kind of doesn't go so well. Cross hatch coming out of that. with it. Okay, I'm gonna throw some background on this guy. And then we'll be done. So when you're bar grounding, you kind of want your your bar grounder to be offset at the angle that the stems come away from the main line. So these are gonna be turned out this way. Still not getting quite the definition that we'd like, considering we're doing this on a rock, but we'll see when we get home, we'll antique it and uh, see how it turns out. So now we're gonna turn our bar grounder the other direction. Maybe a flatter part of the rock would help. some good bar grounding on that side. That actually worked out pretty good. There she is. Well, thanks for stopping by. 
I'm really excited how this turned out. I was really skeptical at first how it was going to look. The beveling was a lot tougher than I expected on the rock. But this is another lesson. Don't give up on something just because it has a shaky start. I'm really excited for all the cool places we can go make something pretty, somewhere pretty. So hope you like these videos. We'll also be back in the shop making awesome tips for you. So anyway, hope you subscribe, hit that like button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.